Hey everybody, Alex here, healthhacksreview.com. Pleased to present to you a very quick video on the basics of what oxygen multi-step protocol is all about. Exercise with oxygen training, EWOT for short, using the acronym. Um, oxygen multi-step therapy, and also touching on hypoxic training as well. Uh, and so again, this is a very quick video, and check out my other videos for more on this type of training, including um, ideal equipment to use. Um, and I will also be walking through using that equipment uh, in some other videos as well. So um, Dr. Manfred von Arden in uh, Germany uh, was a researcher who basically uh, created a book called Oxygen Multi-Step Therapy. He did years and years, early pioneer, studying oxygen and using oxygen in conjunction with exercise. So his findings were that oxygen not only enhances performance, uh, but is also curative, capable of reversing a variety of maladies that affect the human body. Um, so as we know, if we don't exercise uh, or get some sort of movement that maybe we could call exercise every day or consistently done, um, then basically what we'll see it commonly uh, is toxin accumulation, um, organ, organs become dysfunctional, uh, weight is gained, uh, inflammation sets in, uh, all of which result in basically a poor state of health, uh, both bodily and mentally. Okay, um, And these are precisely the physiological responses in oxygenation, um, I'm sorry, that oxygenation actually has shown to address. Um, so again, uh, you know, if we have health goals, or we have certain health conditions or diseases, chances are it goes back to some of those issues. Um, and really a lot of this, again, we'll find out is rooting back to microcirculation issues. And uh, that affects then all the nutrients going to cells and then all the toxins then able to be carried out of the cells and uh, deficiency or suboptimal oxygen levels. And oxygen is central to the cell, essential for all kinds of downstream processes and especially direct regulation of inflammation. So um, the key to superior oxygenation basically is increasing your heart rate. Exercise will do that while consuming large amounts of oxygen or volumes of oxygen. So basically oxygen enters your lungs, um, which then goes directly into the bloodstream, it's circulated throughout the body, throughout the heart. Um, and basically as your heart beats faster, more oxygen is circulated throughout your whole body. Um, so one interesting part of this phenomenon is basically that uh, the heart knows, recognizes, monitors um, that there's extra oxygen available. And so what it then does, it's always looking for efficiency in the homeostasis, it, does, it knows it doesn't have to work as hard to distribute the oxygen. Um, and so actually then the heart rate maintains a slower rhythm. Um, thus, basically, exercise can become easier, right? We notice that as we improve our conditioning. Um, and our efficiency of the oxygen process actually decreases. So basically, the goal of this type of training is to kind of counteract this natural auto self-regulation process. Um, so the answer is basically to, dep to, is to deprive the body of oxygen, okay, which is the hypoxic uh, form of training or part of the equation. Um, and as we deprive the body of oxygen, um, this stimulates the heart to work harder to drive um, whatever remaining oxygen in the body is left throughout the body to keep it going. Okay, so this hypoxic state is basically like creating a vacuum in the body. Okay, and so the vacuum effect is immediately, um, it's uh, starved of oxygen, the heart rate increases, um, and as you kind of maintain your pace of exercise, it becomes more and more and more difficult. You feel the lactic acid build up, um, and basically when the body is at the point of greatest difficulty, when you're just literally ready to just, I'm burned out, I'm ready to stop for you know, this, this cycle or this sprint that I'm doing, um, and that's usually within like 10 to 20 seconds of, of workout, um, the oxygen flow is then allowed to resume. So right in that state, a state of uh, this hardest hypoxic pushing your body with the oxygen then comes back to breathe in. Um, 
at a much higher atmosphere concentration. So it's usually concentrated oxygen, anywhere from 80% up to uh, like 94-ish, 95% oxygen. Okay, normal atmospheric room air concentration of oxygen um, is around like polluted, pollutes is like 15%, really polluted, and then maybe averaging more around 22%. Okay, um, <clears throat> so um, as that oxygen gets flooded back into the body after we're in that hypoxic mode, um, so we have an increased heart rate still, um, and so then all that oxygen coming into the body, it rushes into the body to fill the vacuum. Um, and so it drives it very, very deep into the tissues, okay? Um, the lymphatic system as well, the brain, all the fine capillaries. And remember that just with all the blood vessels, the large, the medium, the small, most of the 70% um, is actually small. It's very small capillaries, very small vessels. We don't think about that a lot, but that's then what really feeds all the cells. Um, so basically, as, as you flip back into this mode of oxygen, you can literally actually feel that rush come back to the cells. It's, it's really a good feeling. Um, and so it's this flood of oxygen um, at now a higher rate because the heart's going faster and the circulation is, is, is much, much higher. It's this flood of oxygen that basically allows the body's systems to recuperate, regenerate, and resume their role of basically healthy anatomical purpose. Okay, so that basically is it in a nutshell um, as far as uh, flipping between the concentrated oxygen um, in an oxygen multi-step protocol that uh, Von Arden uh, was studying and going into more of a hypoxic training, which Von Arden didn't uh, study as intensely, um, but is really become so much more popular um, and more studied so in the last 15 years especially. Uh, so that's it. Um, stay tuned for some of my other videos where I go into just different aspects of the protocol and a little bit more about um, the equipment that I highly recommend uh, and that I do work with. Thanks.